Hi everyone, my name is Logan. And I'm David, and we are part of the Van Clan team. And today we're gonna to be talking about minimalist stocking stuffers for van lifers because I know it's hard to shop for people like van lifers. Yeah, these are all things that we use and love inside the van, so they're tried and tested by us. And when you're in doubt, like if you feel like something isn't going to fit the person you're shopping for, then don't buy it. I know that there's a lot of pressure to be buying gifts this season, um, and we are firm believers that something can be made for someone you love, quality time with someone you love is important, and so are like handwritten letters. So don't fall into the trap of buying, buying, buying. Yeah, make it work. So make sure you're subscribed because we have a series coming up on a gift buying special. So if you hear any snoring, that's just our puppy behind us who is lying on the bed here. Yes, and if during any time in this video you have a better idea for a stocking stuffer than us, leave it down below because I'm sure people will be searching in the comments too. Mm -hmm. So the first one is biodegradable soap. The almighty of <laughs> soap for van lifers. It's really important to have something that you can dump outdoors if you're not in a place that you can be dumping stuff. Mm -hmm. So we personally use Dr. Bronner's, but there are tons of other brands out there and this is pr relatively cheap. All these gifts we're trying to aim under 25 bucks too, just so you know. Mm -hmm. And the second one is a gaff, uh, a gas gift card. Honestly, there's nothing better than a gas gift card when you receive one. It's the biggest deal, especially when you live in your home, which is a vehicle. So getting somewhere or just, you know, feeling like you don't have to pay at the pump that one time is pretty amazing. So a gas gift card is an amazing gift for any van lifer. Something that's kind of fun you could get someone is a personalized coffee mug mm -hmm. or coaster or something to their van. Um, as you might know, a lot of people name their vans or have like an Instagram name too. So having like a personalized coffee mug with their Instagram name or their van name on it might be a fun little gift that they'll appreciate. Yeah. The fourth one is collaps collapsible kitchenware. So that would be like a dish rack that sits beside the sink so that when you're drying your dishes, and you want to put that away, you can collapse it down, you can easily store it away. Remember, a van is a very small space, so having stuff that's collapsible is a big, big deal. Um, the other thing you can get is like coffee pour overs that are collapsible. What else? Funnels, measuring cups, mm -hmm. containers. There are tons of like silicone collapsible things that come in handy when you're really trying to make the most of your space. This week's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Here at VanClan, we are always learning new skills through Skillshare that help us to tell better stories on all of our social platforms. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where you can find thousands of inspiring classes on topics including creative writing, marketing, graphic design, and many more. Right now, I'm taking Patrick Dang's class on how to cash in on your passion using Instagram. Many in the van life community have found clever ways of monetizing their lifestyle, and this course is perfect if you're looking to do the same. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads, and they're always launching new and premium classes. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Happy learning, now back to the video. The next thing is, packing cubes. So I love my packing cubes. I can fit way more into a packing cube than I think anyone could ever imagine. <laughs> and these ones are particularly great because they're see-through. So there's a couple of different ones on the market. We like the see-through ones because you know what you're getting and what one you're looking for. And it just makes organization much easier. And if they don't have them in their lives, it's something that's nice to add. Yeah, always. The sixth one I believe it's number six, mm -hmm. is a dust pan and brush. Small spaces get very dirty very fast and having a dust pan and brush is a big deal when maybe you can't afford something like a $200, $500 vacuum, like those Dyson vacuums that are, you know, very small. They're expensive. And we have a Dyson and we still use our dust yeah, pan. The, so. <laughs> the, the, the dust pan is the best. Cleaning the step at the front when Sadie comes in, bringing all this mud in, Cleaning it very quickly is super, super helpful. So it's a good idea. 
The next thing is kind of a self-plug, but the Van Clan ebook. Yeah. If someone in your life maybe isn't in a van yet mm -hmm. or is planning on building out a second van, third van, whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, we've got an ebook that has a bunch of steps and tricks and tips when you are building and helps you plan that out. So yeah, check that out. It will be linked below. Mm -hmm. Everything we are talking about will link, be linked below, of course. Yep, absolutely. The one after that would be a foldable laundry basket. So we have one of these, basically, when you're throwing your dirty laundry into something, or let's say you just washed your laundry and you're bringing it back to the van from the laundry mat, you need something to carry it in. And you don't want that thing to be a bin that takes up a lot of space. So having one of these foldable laundry baskets is fantastic. You can hold as much as you want in it. Mm -hmm. You can really stuff them. And we just tuck it behind our front driver's seat between the table and the driver's seat and it fits there without taking up any space. Another thing that almost anyone will love if they're living in a van, chances are they like being outside mm -hmm. and good hiking socks, like really good hiking socks are invaluable. Um, they probably cost 15 to 25 bucks a pair and when you have good hiking socks it makes your time outdoors all the better. So I think everyone could have an unlimited amount of socks. <laughs> mm -hmm. The next one is a hot water bottle. Logan can speak to this a lot more than I can because I don't actually use this, but Logan does a lot. <laughs> um, if you have cramps in a van, it's nice. And if you want to get warm in your bed, you can just take the top off, fill it with hot water, throw it in bed before you head in there, and it's nice to cozy up. Especially if you don't have a heater and you're in one of those mm -hmm. climates that doesn't really require you to have one, but does have a couple cold days. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Yeah, we know a lot of van lifers with that, and they do love it. Yes. Next is baby wipes. Mm -hmm. the ultimate van life tool for anyone who lives in a van. Mm -hmm. um, they're great to have on hand. We wipe down our hands on with them when we're low on water. I know it's not the most eco-friendly, mm -hmm. but when you're in a pinch, it's nice to have that option. And I think everyone will appreciate it. Yep, absolutely. And the last one is the All Stays app. So this is a very specific app, but there's a number of them out there that you can get. Basically, they allow you to access campsites and uh, parking places to park overnight easily. Um, these are prepaid apps that you can use to access these sites and they're very comfortable sites. Maybe if you're worried about a loved one who's getting into van life and you want them to be in a safe spot for their first times getting out there, this would be a great idea to purchase them an app or maybe, you know, tell them that you're going to buy the app for them because they can just look on a map on the app, they can mm -hmm. see where they're heading, they can see what the closest spot is they can sleep, and they can know that it's safe and friendly to yeah. be at this spot overnight. And there are a lot of free apps out there, but mm -hmm. having paid ones kind of gives you alternative options that the free ones might not mention. I know there's been times where the spots we found on the free apps aren't exactly what we're looking for, but mm -hmm. we're not just going to buy an app in a pinch. Yeah. Um, so having that as a gift might be a nice alternative. Yeah, absolutely. So that is our top list of our stocking stuffers. Uh, maybe you're buying them for yourself or <laughs> maybe you're buying them for a loved one or friend. I, I think they're all useful. We have most of these things and I think they're probably a staple for us. Yeah, and with Christmas coming soon and all the supply chain stuff that's been happening in the world, it's nice to get a head start on it. So we want to give you guys ideas before the Christmas frenzy and holiday frenzy starts. Mm -hmm. Now make sure you're clicking that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because you don't want to miss what we have coming up. Next week is our newest van tour and after that we have another holiday gift buying special for you <laughs> with some really great ideas so make sure you're subscribed. Yeah and as always be sure to follow us on Instagram and we will see you next week. See you later. Bye.